For decades, commercial aviation has been dominated by Boeing and Airbus. If you've flown on a jet, odds are it was built by one of these two giants. But now China is entering the race with the C919, built by Comac. This isn't just another plane, it's a symbol of China's ambition to become a global tech powerhouse. The C919 is the centerpiece of Made in China 2025, aiming to shift from low-cost manufacturing to high-tech innovation. It's designed to compete directly with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, the backbone of global air travel. For China, the C919 is more than a product, it's about national pride and reducing dependence on Western technology. The world is watching to see if China can break into this exclusive club. Either way, the C919 matters. The race is on. At first glance, the C919 looks like a Chinese triumph. Its fuselage and wings are built in China, and it rolls out of a Shanghai factory. But beneath the surface, the C919 is a global patchwork. Its most critical parts, especially the engines, come from the West. The C919 relies on Leap 1C engines, made by a US-French joint venture, CFM International. Without these engines, the plane can't fly. Avionics, landing gear, and flight control systems are also sourced from American and European companies. Over half of the C919's major suppliers are Western. China assembles the plane, but the vital organs are foreign. This was a calculated risk, used the best global tech to get the plane flying quickly. The hope was to learn from partners and eventually build these parts at home, but this strategy created a fragile web of dependencies. The C919's fate is tied to its geopolitical relationships, especially with the US. Any disruption in the supply chain could ground the project. China's aviation dream is still deeply intertwined with the West. The C919 is a symbol of ambition, but also of vulnerability. The challenge now is to turn this hybrid into a truly Chinese aircraft. Until then, the West's hidden hand remains crucial. The next chapter will test whether China can break free from these dependencies. The stakes couldn't be higher. The world is watching. The C-919's reliance on Western technology soon faced a harsh reality. As US-China tensions rose, the plane became a target for export controls. The US government threatened to block sales of critical components, including the leap engines. Even the threat of sanctions sent shockwaves through the industry. Production lines faced uncertainty, and the flow of essential parts was at risk. The C919, once a symbol of China's rise, now revealed a strategic weakness. The dream of technological independence was still out of reach. Sanctions exposed the gap between China's ambitions and its capabilities. This crisis forced a dramatic shift in Beijing's approach. Relying on Western partners was no longer an option. It was a liability. The new mission built a truly Chinese plane, free from foreign pressure. The sanctions shock became a catalyst for a push towards self-sufficiency. China doubled down on developing its own technology, no matter the cost. The C919's future now depended on breaking the chains of dependency. The race for independence had begun. The world watched as China faced its toughest aviation challenge yet. Would the C919 soar, or be grounded by geopolitics? The answer would shape the future of global aviation. In response to sanctions, China launched an all-out effort to build its own jet engine. The CJ-1000A became a national priority, but building a modern jet engine is one of the hardest technological feats on Earth. Only a handful of countries have ever succeeded. Progress has been slow, with setbacks and challenges. Turbine blades spin faster than sound and endure extreme heat. Precision is everything. China has made progress, but the CJ-1000A isn't ready for passengers yet. Hundreds of companies are involved, but catching up takes time. The C919 is a symbol of ambition and the long road ahead. The quest for a Chinese engine is far from over. Today the C919 flies only in China, operated by state-owned airlines on domestic routes. This is the crucial first phase, proving the plane's safety and reliability at home. The government has ensured a steady stream of orders, giving Comac a stable foundation. But even in China, the C919 must match the standards set by Boeing and Airbus. The real challenge is winning trust abroad. International airlines are cautious, they want proven reliability and global support. Boeing and Airbus have decades of experience and worldwide service networks. Comac is just starting to build this infrastructure. Convincing airlines outside China to buy the C919 will take years, maybe decades, 
the plane must build a flawless safety record and demonstrate low operating costs. Comac will need to offer steep discounts and attractive financing to lure customers. For now, the C919 is a regional champion with global ambitions. The first step is to dominate at home. The next, much harder step, win over the world. The journey will be long and the competition fierce. The C919's future depends on trust, earned one flight at a time. The world is watching to see if China's jet can truly take off. The stakes are sky high. Before any new jet can fly passengers, it must be certified as safe. The C919 is certified by China's Aviation Authority, but that's not enough for global markets. To fly internationally, it needs approval from the FAA in the US and ASA in Europe. These agencies set the gold standard for aviation safety. Without their approval, the C919 can't be sold in most of the world. Certification is a long, rigorous process. Every detail is scrutinized. Regulators review technical documents, conduct flight tests, and inspect factories. In today's tense geopolitical climate, the process is even more challenging. Western regulators may be extra cautious, demanding more data and more tests. Political tensions could slow things down further. For COMAC, this is the biggest barrier to global success. So far progress has been slow. Until the C919 gets the green light from Western regulators, it will remain mostly in China. Building a plane is only half the battle. Winning global trust is the other half. The world is waiting to see if the C919 can clear this final hurdle. US sanctions aim to slow China's rise in aerospace. Instead, they've fueled China's drive for self-reliance. The pressure has turned a long-term ambition into an urgent national mission. China's massive domestic market is its secret weapon. The government can guarantee sales for the C9119, giving COMAC room to grow and learn. This protected space is a strategic advantage no other new manufacturer has had. Inside China, the battle for the skies is heating up. Airbus, once dominant, now faces a homegrown rival with state backing. Every C919 delivered is one less sale for foreign competitors. The C919 story is one of resilience, overcoming technical, commercial, and political obstacles. Sanctions have slowed it down, but not stopped it. The plane has become a symbol of China's determination to forge its own path. The Dragon is learning to fly on its own. The world is watching as China's aviation ambitions take flight. The journey is far from over. The C919's wings are still growing stronger. The future of global aviation may depend on what happens next. The race for the skies has a new contender.